Great. So these are the three learning objectives for today's session. Introduction to Udly, Udly in action, and a wrap up. Today I'm going to spice it up a little bit. Rather than explaining to you what is Udly, how does it work, I'm going to first of all give a demonstration of public speaking and then show you how this public speaking can be improved perhaps by an artificial intelligence tool. Do keep in mind that humans are always your primary source of reference when you want to polish your speech. Always reach out to your mentor or your coach to make sure that your message is loud and clear to your audience. But at the same time, if you want to use an AI tool, then this is how you can do it. To demonstrate it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask four participants to volunteer. And actually, I already have their names with me. And they are going to speak on a subject, the same subject. I have shared with them the topic. They will speak for one to two minutes. Let me first bring in the AI coach into the meeting. So you will notice that there is a new participant in the meeting and is, it is called Kajitans Yudli. Now this is the AI, the AI speech coach. And when it joined, all of you got a message in your chat, which says Kajitan is using Yudli to get AI powered insight on their communication skills. You can try it out for free at udli.ai. And it means now whatever is happening from now onwards is getting recorded and analyzed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask our four participants to speak on a topic. And the topic I have given them is very simple. If money was not a concern, what would be your dream job? Starting with our first volunteer, Mary Lou Asan. As I considered the question, there were two ways to view it. If I didn't need to earn money or if I had unlimited access to money. Either way, it fed into my goal and belief that clean water and food should be universally available to all. These are resources that are generated free by the earth, but we have commercialized and made access harder and in many cases, almost impossible for many of the Earth's inhabitants. My dream job would be to work towards finding ways to tap and share the world's resources to ensure basic needs are met universally. People need clean water and enough nutritional food to be able to live a sustainable life. We have pockets of the world harvesting the bulk of these resources and shockingly wasting them while the other portions of the world scavenge to get something and anything to eat themselves. Therefore, if money was no concern, my dream job is to work towards making clean water and basic food universally available to all. Thank you. Let me see if Maya is in the room. Your question once again is, if money was not a concern, what would be your dream job? Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and friends. I was brought up in a family of four where there was only one who earned for the bread and there was one who made the bread. It was my father who earned and it was my mother who was a homemaker. In spite of just one member earning, he found it very easy to meet the ever-increasing demands of me and my brother. So that was an example for me to follow in my life. Moving forward, as I got a job after uh, being professionally qualified, I understood the actual importance of money and how much money a man needs to probably get his basic needs and also indulge in some luxuries. In spite of that, there can be a lot of savings. To the extent that when my marriage was fixed and my father was in a fix, to borrow money for it, I said, you're not going anywhere, Dad. You're using my savings for my marriage. And I was as happy to help him as any other uh, uh, low, uh, person lending the loan would be. Moving forward, my father did ensure that I got married to a chartered accountant 
so that there is a steady flow of money into my family. So I was not bothered about money. So when we shifted to Bahrain, I decided to be a homemaker because I had to take care of my two young children. So then I was left with a whole lot of time and I thought, why not explore my dream of being in nature? I'm a great lover of nature. When I sit in the morning, hearing the chirping of the birds, I actually forget my family worries and tensions and become a part of the family affairs of the birds probably. And the hanging hibiscus on the tree telling me, do you want a nice selfie shot? Come near me, I will offer you a very good shot. So forgetting myself in nature is one of the dreams and that has helped me to explore my interest of writing. So if money was not a concern for me, I would engage in my dream job of writing. Over to you. Thank you. And let me now focus on the rest of the session. So we have heard about your dream job from four participants. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop my Udly and it will do its analytics and we'll come back to assessing what is it that our four participants have said in today's session and perhaps is there a room for improvement for them all of them were given a few hours to practice this topic it is not like that they had to practice for days just a few hours what about us when we want to deliver something important as i said maybe you want to give a presentation uh, to your board members or to your colleagues or you want to raise a toast at a social event and you are nervous and you start practicing but where do you practice do you practice in front of a mirror that's fine you will get some feedback from yourself but not from others do you practice in front of your family they will also give you some feedback but maybe they are not professionals in public speaking so maybe they have feedback might not be good enough to create an impactful message. Do you reach out to a professional coach who charges maybe hundreds of dollars per hour? You should if it is worth it, if it is important enough, if it is something that you need that will make or break your career, you should reach out to a professional coach. Should you reach out to a Toastmaster club, they will help you, but that might take also some time. And now we have a Another option, which is a artificial intelligence coach that is available to you on your computer 24 by 7. So what is Udly? So think of Udly as your personalized speech coach that provides you real time, actionable and judgment free feedback anytime you speak. So anytime you speak in front of Udly, it will immediately respond and say, hey, you spoke too fast. You, took, you spoke too slow, or you were using too many filler words. You were not looking at the camera. You were not engaging with the audience. So that is what we mean by actionable feedback. And you can incorporate that and repeat the speech. And this time it will say, wow, your filler words have reduced from 10% to 5%. How about going to 0%? So these are some of the things that Udly uh, allows you to identify. Filler words, the pacing, that is whether you're speaking too fast or too slow, your eye contact. It's very difficult in an online meeting to hold eye contact because you always need to look at the camera, not at the audience. And that's why it will tell you that you are engaging with the audience or not. Plus many such other uh, actionable items. Also, for people like us who are not native English speakers, we can get instant transcript. And what do I mean by instant transcript? Whatever we spoke, it will convert it into text. And why is that important? It is important because you can analyze whether the AI was able to correctly transcribe your English or whether it misunderstood it. Because if it misunderstood, it means maybe the audience also will misunderstand what you're saying. And this happens to us because we tend to speak with an accent, maybe Arabic accent, maybe Indian accent. When we speak in front of a Western audience, for example, they may not understand what you are saying. So this transcript is very useful. It gives you a summary of your speech. What did you speak? What were your key points? And that tells you whether what I wanted to say 
was it said? And there is a very nice feature also that using AI you can apply, especially if you are practicing for interviews, you can do something called follow-up questions. So you can speak for, let's say, a few seconds. AI will listen to you, what you're saying, and it will create a follow-up question on its own. It's like talking to a person. Plus there is uh, fun and games, which you can use to improve your public speaking skills. If you are a Toastmaster, you can use it to practice your projects. You can share your speech with your mentors and you can collaborate with them so that they can see and give you feedback on besides the feedback that you receive from the AI, you will get feedback from your friends because it's like uh, how you share in WhatsApp and Facebook, you just share and it will go to their email. They can open it, they can uh, listen to you and they can type in their feedback and that feedback will come back to you. If you use um, Udly in a Zoom meeting, like how I have done now, you can get meeting analytics of the entire meeting. Who spoke? How long did they speak? And what was their engagement? And how well did they speak? So it's a great tool to recruit new members in Toastmasters because they can see the potential of becoming better public speakers. So they can use AI, they can use the club, and using both of these tools now, collaboration, it is a win-win situation in my opinion. Let's have a demo. Let me share my screen. If you want to go to Udly, as I said, it's app.udly.ai. I know many of you have already signed up when I posted the link in the WhatsApp group. If not, just go to app.udly.ai and sign in. This tool, first of all, is completely free, as of now at least. You don't have to pay anything, and you will have these options available to you. We'll go through some of them because I won't be able to cover everything, but I just want to give you a flavor what, what Udly is capable of. And the first thing I want to focus on is what happened today at the beginning of the meeting. We had four speakers who delivered a topic on their dream job. So if I click on the library, it has already created dream jobs as a title. I didn't type this, by the way. It said dream jobs with AI coach. Wow. How cool is that? That is artificial intelligence right there for you, that it has created a title which reflected a session itself. How many people spoke? There were four people who had spoken. And if you see here, insights for Kajitan, that's me, because I was also speaking, but I have Mary Lou, I have Ilios, I have Maya, I have Stacy. And these were the four participants who I recorded this session. But first of all, before that, what was the first thing I was telling you about? It I was talking about filler words. Not too many, by the way, one person, that's perfectly okay, I think. So which means we have done a great job, all five of us. So there were six okay as the word. It's a filler word, we can avoid it. The word a uh, was used six times, one o oh was used, and one you know was used. And what's really nice about it is, if you want to know where was this word you know used, you just click on the play button, timing background when it turns red you know your time is in this case it's not really a crutch word because it it has it's used in the right context but it has just flagged it for me i can decide whether i want to keep it or not i will show you another cool trick so i have spoken this paragraph right all right so is your time in one to two minutes you can look at me and whatever i have spoken and i want the ai to redo this whole paragraph in a different way so I can click on these three arrows and I say, rephrase it. Do the same thing, but do it in a better way. So let's see what it has to say. It has rephrased it for me. It says, your time limit is one to two minutes. Keep an eye on my timing background because it will turn red when the time is up. Your topic is, wow, I could immediately apply this if I was to repeat the speech. In fact, let's have a little fun. I can say, rephrase this whole paragraph into a limerick. I don't know if you all know what is a limerick. It's a five sentence poetry let's see how ai converts this into a limerick i'll do my best to make a limerick your time is up don't throw a fit my background turns red you heard what i said dream job if money weren't ever in it <laughs> so it has converted into a fun limerick this is what i was talking about what everybody spoke all the four participants their script is here and i could look at it and say 
see if there is any problem. Was it understood correctly? So for example, this is Maya Sharma. She said, I was brought up in a family of four where there was only one who earned the bread and there was one who made the bread. Excellent. So it has understood everything that she has said, at least the first sentence, precisely. And that is what you want this AI to do. It, you want it to un sort of give you analytics on that, whether what I'm saying is being understood by the AI. Let's look at some other additional insight that we can look at here from, let's say, let's look at Maya Sharma since we are looking at it and see the delivery. How did she deliver? So the first thing is the pace. That is, was it too fast or was it too slow? So as you can see, the golden area is somewhere between 115 to 180, I think. And you are right in that, on that edge here, which means you spoke quite well, mostly in the not too fast, obviously not too slow. And so that's your delivery. Let's look at Mary Lou, 128. So she spoke a little slower compared to you in terms of her pace, but it is there within the acceptable band, as you can see here. Let's look at uh, Elias, 122, also very well. And then finally, we have Stacy, the all the slowest, 119. But again, not too bad. You started a little slow and then you reached a proper pace. So you can see now kind of insight that maybe even a human will not be able to give you because humans you can think of from a point of uh, emotional connection. Uh, your coach or your mentor will tell you whether it is touching his or her heart whether you are making the connection, but you are getting also this all these data points about your speed, your pace, and even eye contact should be the, are you making enough eye contact? So Stacy had 79% eye contact, smiles, there were some smiles. Let's look at Maya, for example, 74% eye contact. You had a lot of smiles. You want to know where was that smile? Just click on the play button and I click play instance engage in my dream job of writing so that is definitely a smile you agree so it can count the smiles and it can help you, you to improve your communication you can have some target saying that okay i'll smile because let's it of course it depends upon your speech if your speech is not supposed to have smiles then having smiles might be a bad idea so it gives you that idea do i want to smile and am i smiling so let the AI give you this kind of analytics, give you that kind of uh, pacing, the smiles, eye contact. And so it has summarized all the four participants, what they spoke. Mary Lou's dream job would be to work towards making clean water and basic food universally available to all. Wow. It has summarized the entire thing into this one sentence. Maya's dream job, exploring her love of nature and writing. Elios's dream job, being a research scientist in the field of artificial intelligence. And Stacy's dream job is a cashier because it would test her integrity and improve her da herself daily. And I think <laughs> this is what we are looking for, right? So imagine if this was a Zoom, Toastmaster Zoom meeting, all the participants who spoke table topics, prepared speeches, it would summarize and give you what happened. So it would give you the minutes of the meeting. You don't need a secretary. Secretary could use this uh, and do something more useful rather than taking down the minutes of the meeting. Let AI do the job. Let her focus more on the other activities that uh, he or she has to do in the club. So this is one way of capturing the speech in a Zoom meeting. But if what if you just want to, you are not a Toastmaster, you just want to practice an interview you have an interview tomorrow so come here and say practice speech i can choose how long i want to practice you want to practice a one minute speech you want to practice three minutes or five minutes you can customize as you want let's try for one minute so today we are talking about Udly, the ai speech coach this is always by your side providing you judgment free feedback and i think this is a great tool that is very useful for each and every one of us, whether you're a Toastmaster or not, everyone wants to practice public speaking. This is a one area that everyone sort of gets up or nervous whenever we have to speak in front of a lot of people. And therefore, 
having a tool that gives you clear analytics of how you're speaking and how you're engaging with the ad audience and always gives you prompts will be a good tool, in my opinion, to help us augment our journey in public speaking. So that's an example. I stop. So if that was my speech, I click save recording. It will instantly give me a transcript of what I spoke. But more important was my delivery. The delivery seems fine, but you know, I spoke too fast here, then too slow here. Another example would be if you want to practice an interview. And this is where the power of AI comes into the picture. You have a set of questions uh, that are already pre-built depending on how, where you want to give an interview. Let's say you want to give an interview in consulting. So there will be some example questions that you can expect. If you are in uh, marketing, there will be some examples or you can type your own question. I want to type a question. Why do you want to join Amazon? Let's say that's the question you're expecting for the interview. So you can click add and then you can say, ask me a follow up question. Click start practicing. I want to join Amazon because I heard that you all are one of the best employers in terms of pay. And I'm looking forward to showcasing my talents but at the same time, making sure that I'm paid properly for what I am worth. And that's the reason I want to join Amazon. Next question. So it's thinking now what I said, and it will ask me. So it says, what kind of talents do you possess that will be valuable to Amazon? That's a great question. And that I think is really powerful in terms of preparing for such kind of sessions, especially with your managers, with your you know, next employer, and it will give you an analytics that you can then perhaps share with your mentor and say, this is the type of question that I answered. What do you think? Should I prepare better for my interview? Keep refining, keep practicing so that when you actually, it is time for you to deliver your interview, you will really crush it. Let's pause for a minute and I will uh, take some questions from the audience.